Good afternoon. My name is Spencer Levy. I'm America's head of research, and I am delighted to be here in very, very hot Dallas, Texas today with my dear friend, and I'm proud to call him my dear friend and colleague, Jack Fraker. Jack Fraker leads our industrial sales practice nationally, been in the business over 30 years, and I mean this sincerely. He's a true legend um, and ambassador, uh, not only for our company, but for industrial overall. So, Jack, thanks, Spencer. thanks for joining us. So Jack, uh, we're here today to talk about industrial in the second quarter of 2015, and uh, our numbers show that industrial has just been an absolute tear. Uh, with the exception of multifamily, no asset type has had a better run in the last five years than industrial, and you might even dispute multifamily. Uh, there was over 68 million square feet of positive absorption in the second quarter, uh, which is up over 20% year over year. What's driving this? There's a wide variety of factors, one of, one of which is population growth. You know, we're growing by 1% per year. So if you add that up over 10 years, that's 30 million people, the same size as a country like Spain. You have drivers such as e-commerce. You have the recovering single family housing construction industry or construction in general is driving a lot of new uh, tenant demand. You're also seeing a really a tight balance between new supply and tenant demand. I think there's twice as much absorption as new construction. And the new construction is way below the 20-year uh, average, which was 225 million square feet per year for 20 years in a row. And now we're something like 175 million square feet. You're seeing a rental rate growth, in, in some cases double-digit rental rate growth in some markets around the country. So there's a wide variety of things that are making this one of the best asset classes. It's real predictable, reliable asset class uh, from an actuarial perspective. Institutional investors, pension funds, and others like this asset class, it doesn't cost as much to operate compared to other asset classes, and yet you get really uh, consistent, reliable, growing returns. Mm -hmm. 